Hi YouTube, this is Diva Kiki just coming to say hello to all of my new and my old sus subscribers, excuse me. Um, I am doing well. Um, it's Friday. I survived my first week at my new job. Yay! Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to come on and let you all know that um, God is just still awesome. He's still good. Um, and I'm just glad that he has given me the opportunity to um, be on a new job. I actually changed co careers completely. Um, let me take my glasses off. I changed uh, careers completely. Like what I was doing in the medical field, I'm doing something completely, completely opposite. Like, what I'm doing is like totally not has nothing to do with what I've been doing for the last five years. Um, but I'm excited because I'm learning something new and I'm a person. I love to learn, you know, I love to learn new things. I love to learn, you know, new, you know, things. And I think that's what I was getting tired of at my old job. Also, I was getting tired of just doing the same thing over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? On top of going through extra drama. Um, but I praise God almighty. I praise God almighty for this opportunity to learn something new, you know, to get something new in my mind, to get something new going. Um, I have a little bit more energy today because I didn't have to read all day. Um, today I got to go into two, a couple of hours of training with my, my supervisor lead person. And then from there I went with the director and had training with her. I also went to finish some training with, uh, one of the girls that do like the analyst work went and did a little bit of time of training with her. Um, and, um, I don't know if I told you all, but I am, um, a financial aid counselor now. So I completely changed, uh, uh careers. I'm excited, um, because I get to work with the students face to face as well as on the phone, as well as through email, um, trying to help them, um, get into school, um, or will not get into school, but trying to help them, uh, with their funding for school. So I am excited. Um, I, I I'm learning a lot. I have a lot to learn. And I, I'm, you know, mad at myself a lot of times because if I knew these types of things that I'm learning now, maybe my school, my college loan wouldn't be so high, you know, even though I've gotten it down through the years, but maybe my college loan that I have, or maybe I would have went diff a different route um, to try to get more grants and scholarships um, I would have done that more than getting a whole lot of loans. And I was not educated about it. And I'm, I'm like, you know, whatever it takes for me to educate, you know, those students, um, that are, that are there, I don't mind educating them. So I'm a little excited about it. Um, I like the people that I work with. Um, we all have been having a ball all week. <laughs> um, but I, what I like about them is that even though they laugh and they talk to you and they joke when they got a free time, um, what I like about them is that they all pull together to get uh, one common goal taken care of and that's to help the students. So I, I'm excited you know i i'm just glad to be part of it i'm glad to be in the mix of it and i'm glad that god is giving me this opportunity um to learn something else and to go into a whole new field of work um so i didn't get a chance to say all of that last night um but i wanted to come on and let you all know that now um, but I'm, I'm grateful to God, you know, he's brought me through the situation I, I went through, you know, I look at it now and I'm like, God, now I see why you had me going through so much because you wanted to get me here to where you have me and you wanted me to appreciate where you have me. So I am so grateful to God almighty. And, um, and it's sad to say, but I, this week was my first week. And I really didn't miss my people at my old job. You know, I'm like, wow, have I been missing people to treat you better, you know, all along? 
So I really, really, you know, and, and what's so funny about it is the ones that I work with now, a lot of us are this, <laughs> the same <laughs> because I'm not a morning person and I was condemned at my last job for not being a morning person. You know, I would speak to people good morning, you know, but I wouldn't start doing a whole lot of talking until around about 11 or 12, you know, 10 o'clock, 11 or 12. Well, this job I'm at, they the same way, like in the mornings. Woo! It is so quiet in there in the mornings, uh, you know, unless you hear them helping a student or on the phone with a student or in person with a student. So, you know, the, pretty much they are all quiet. But after 12 o'clock, my God, we all kind of blossom and we all kind of bloom. The closer it gets to 12 o'clock, we kind of bloom out and we kind of like, woo, you know, we're here, we're, we're woke, you know. Um, so I'm glad to be in an atmosphere where, you know, pretty much we all understand each other, um, where I don't have to hear extra drama from, you know, somebody that feel like I should be like somebody else or feel like I should come to work on top of the world and I should be talking when I come to work. I'm not a morning person, so I'm very quiet in the morning and I'm not rude to anybody because you come speak to me, you come talk to me. I listen to you, but I don't have a lot to say. Um, but once I'm woke and once I got that Starbucks coffee in me or once I got that espresso coffee of my own in me or my or I got some kind of coffee in me, once I have that in me, I'm pretty good and I'm ready to go. Like, I, I'm like, you know, once that sick in, give me about an hour, I'm good. You know, I'm like focused. So it's good to be around other people that we understand each other, you know, and, and I'm just glad, you know, and I'm a, I'm a good person uh, when I'm when I'm a person that I can when I meet you, I can pretty much pick up your character. So, you know, each everybody's different, you know, and as I've talked to a lot of them this week, I've kind of picked up a lot of their characters, like as far as like how how to handle them or how to talk to them or or how to communicate with that person because everybody is different you know you got to adopt adapt to different atmospheres for different people so um but still keep who you are and that's me i've been keeping who i am but you know i may be able to joke with her that way but with her i might have to kind of pull back just a little bit because i'm i don't want to offend anybody so um that's something that i've learned um down the years you know and i wish that people at my last job would have gave me that respect but i didn't get that respect at my last job so so be it the past is the past like the song writer says i won't go back to the place i used to be i won't go back i can't think of his name is on my phone downstairs but i won't go back can't go back to the place where i used to be and that's how i feel and that's what i've been repeating in my car all day when i got in my car today that's what i've been playing is i won't go back to the place i used to be um you know because god have brought me back brought me from that place and I don't want to go back. So uh, I just wanted to come on and encourage somebody. I got a lot of people that responded to my last video about the new job and about what I was going through at my old job. I want to tell y'all, those who are looking for a job, continue to look for a job. Don't give up. I've been, I have been looking since November and this is August 20th. I started my new job. So I'm trying to tell you, don't give up. Keep praying, keep living right, keep living righteous, keep living holy, keep living for God. Because when I tell you, he's going to open up a door that no man can shut in your face. So I just want to encourage somebody, don't give up, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, don't give up because God is going to do it. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do for him, he's going to do what he's supposed to do for you. So just keep hanging on in there. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up. Up. I almost gave up. Some parts of this year, I almost gave up. I mean, these people had me at my last job about to lose my mind. But I thank God that my, God is a mind regulator. And he's the one that kept my mind. He kept me sane. He kept me doing what I was supposed to do. All he asking for us to do is just keep our focus on him. Keep living for him. Let our light shine to the people of the world. Let our light shine that God, that we're living for for God. So that's what I come to encourage somebody today. 
Some people wrote on my thing that they were going through the same thing right now. And I come right now to bind the devil. I come right now to touch and agree with those people that's going through what I was going through. Right now, we plead the blood of Jesus over your situation. And right now, Holy Spirit, go and touch those individuals. Give them strength. Give them coverage, God. In the name of Jesus, we come to you right now, God, because we know that you are able. You've never failed us. You've never forsaken us. But God, I ask that you wrap your arms around those individuals that sent me a message. Wrap your arms around them, God. Let them know right now that you are there with them. I had some people to say that that sent a message to me that said they have been crying like I have been crying, God. But we know that you are a deliverer. We know that you are able to set free. And so right now, I touch and agree with my sisters right now. My sisters in Christ. Christ God, we're believing it by faith that you're going to open up a door that nobody can shut in their face. You're going to open up a door like you opened up a door for me, God. God Almighty, we believe it by faith. In the name of Jesus, I give you glory, I give you honor, and I give you praise. We thank you for everything that you're going to do, everything that you've already done, and everything that you're doing right now, God. But all we ask for right now is that you give them peace of mind in their situation. Give them peace of mind with what they're going through. Give them peace of mind. Give them enduring power, God, and help them endure until you take them through this situation, God. Endure. Help them endure till the end, God. In the name of Jesus. I didn't know I was going to pray, but God, in the name of Jesus, we count it all done and we believe it by faith. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God, I thank you. I feel the Holy Spirit in my house right now, y'all. I I feel the presence of the Lord right now because I know God is able and I know what if he did it for me, he can do it for you. And so I'm encouraging somebody out there today. I'm encouraging you to hold on, hold on to God's unchanging hands, hold on to the word of God, hold on to your word that's deep in your, let it sink deep inside your heart. Just hold on to God's unchanging hands and he will walk you through it. He will lead you through it. He will guide you through it. So I just come to encourage somebody on today. And that prayer of faith is for anybody out there that's even looking at this video. Have either commented on my last video. Because I'm touching and agreeing with you as a woman of God. As a woman of faith. That God is going to open up the doors for you. God is going to make a way for you. I'm speaking it into the atmosphere right now. That God is going to do it for you. So I'm going to get off this video right now. Because I feel like cutting a dance in the spirit right now. I feel like praising God right now. I feel like just, just shouting and giving him glory because I know God is a healer. I know he's a deliverer. I know he can set you free. Oh God, yes he can. Oh God almighty. I'm about to go y'all. Keep keep focus, Keep your focus on God. Let him continue to, to work through you. Let him continue to use you for his glory. I bless his name on the day y'all. I'm sorry. I'm a worshiper and I, I bless his name on the day. I don't apologize for going into the presence of the Lord right now on this video. I don't apologize. I'm about to go downstairs and eat my fried crabs I bought, but I don't apologize for the presence of the Lord because the presence of the Lord is what I I, I, I love being in his presence. I love basking in his presence and I, I love being in his presence and living in his presence. But the only way that you can be in his presence, to live in his presence is you got to live holy. Oh God almighty, you've got to live righteous. And I, oh Holy Spirit, let me get off this video. I did not come on here to preach, but y'all I know I'm a minister and it's, it's in my heart it's in my blood, it's in my heart but you all take care, be a blessing know God loves you, keep him first and I love you too, God bless you